gotta get one. There he goes. <laughs> Look at him, dude. Oh my gosh. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're about to head in the fish shop. They have a bunch of fish in here, a bunch of crazy exotic fish. We're gonna try to stock the 200 gallon with a bunch of fish right now. So we're pretty much gonna scope around, see what they got. If they got anything cool, you already know. We're gonna be buying it. I want to go with like three to four tangs, little tangs that will grow big over time. You gotta remember, this is a 200 gallon tank, so we have plenty of room in there. And I'm thinking maybe a blue tang, really, really pretty, and they're like the most known tang out there. So we'll probably go with one of the blue tangs. Then they have these cool cleaner rods. I don't know what kind, but look at that. It's not the ones we have in the pond, but it's. It, Let's see if I can find the name here. Is Rass, it the Red Sea Cleaner Rass? I don't know. Oh, that's exactly Would what that it is. Would that be it? That's probably, even though it's, yeah. yeah, not red, but so cool. And the 200 gallon, we would just get him for the 200 gallon because he would, not only do they benefit the big fish, but they also benefit the little fish. They eat the parasites off them too. So I think a, I think a cleaner rass would be major for this tank. I and mean, there's so much in this store. I've never been to this shop, but it is definitely one of the coolest shops I've ever been. And if you guys want to check it out yourself, it is called Aquatic Jewels. We'll have the link in the description down below. So check them out. The owner actually told us he's had these bamboo sharks for four years and hatched them since they were in the eggs. So, dude, huh? dude, I'm smiling. Look and at this there. tank. Got a little cleaner ass in there. Cleaner shrimp down here. Bunch of tangs, grass at top there. This is awesome. A whole bunch of coral to top it off. These are the 24K Australian coral. Wow. Uh, the gold torture, the 24K that everybody wants. Wow. And I'm probably the only one in Florida that has this coral right now. Oh, wow. You hear that? Florida. Yeah. So if you're looking for those, yeah. this guy to come to. The rats have like, come from uh, Australia also. Really? And uh, they're very hard to get, the rats are torture. And look, these are, these are the famous Holy Grail. That's the Holy Grail torch that everybody wow. wants. Dude, the coral is just and on another is, level. This is the famous uh, banana torch that everybody likes too. And that's the 24K Australian that you saw over there. There it is right here. So cool. And this is the Raja Chalice. That Raja Chalice sells uh, sometimes $75 for one eye. Really? Yeah, yeah wow. for anyone that's in the coral watching this right now, this is definitely up your alley. Excellent. So yeah, that was actually the owner. He just gave us a quick little rundown of everything. Really nice guy and awesome place as well. So if you guys want to check it out, like I said, link is in the description down below. Sorry about that. His name would be Midnight. I name him Midnight. What you guys have been waiting for. Big old Tesla audio. Look at the size of this guy. Now apparently he's like very, very trained. Hand feeds, he's almost like a dog and he doesn't eat any little fish because he's been so trained and so well fed. I don't know, we may pick him up. If you guys want to see us get this test a lot of eel, get this video to 5,000 likes. 5,000 likes, come back, we'll get him for the saltwater pond. Because as you see, one of the reasons for that is as you see right now, that he's like a, a store pet and he's, he's outgrown this bin here. So they're looking for a place that they can give him a better home, a little more space and we may be those people, so. Oh, look, dude, we got to get one. We got to get one. We've been, me and Ty have been talking about this eel for like five days now, and we just ran into one, the blue ribbon eel. One of the, probably one of the coolest eels out there. They're just so like unordinary. They're different. And I'm pretty sure they get along with community fish, so we probably will be able to add them in there. Oh, look, dude, look at the size of that sea orange. Big old sea orange back there. So, oh my, dude, there's some big seahorses in all these. And they even have little baby seahorses through here. Baby seahorses everywhere. How many seahorses? Comment down below right now. How many seahorses you think are in this tank? There's, I say, 15. I say we go with, uh, can we do that cleaner ass right there? It's pretty much, do they do the same thing as a normal cleaner ass? They would. Yeah. 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 Just different colors. I like the colors. Oh, yeah. He's, he's Very pretty. And then we'll do uh, the powder blue tank as well. Thank you. So there you go. Start off with for right now, picking out our powder blue tang, who is like this big, perfect size. He'll be able to actually grow in the tank and get bigger. And then the coolest thing is the Red Sea cleaner ass right there. He looks similar to a regular cleaner ass, but just different colors and kind of does the same exact thing as a regular cleaner ass. Clean the tank, clean the fish off, make sure they have no parasites. And yeah, really, really cool dude. We'll start off with these guys and then we're probably going to go over there and pick out some more fish. But just to start off with, we got the powder blue tank and the cleaner ass. He's going for the double net here. Oh, he snapped. Wow. That was That's the probably best the best net yeah. job I've ever best seen. Best net job yeah. I've ever seen in my life. 
So this is a powder brown tang, I'm pretty sure, right here. He is pretty. I've never seen colors on a tang like that. You got red, you got blue, you got yellow, white, gray. He's not that pricey, so that may be an option. He went beyond that rock. Look at these little pistol shrimp. They're all in their own little cage, pretty much, because these guys are pretty aggressive. They have a punch that is powerful as heck. Well, not a punch, it's more like a bubble that they shoot, so like, they almost have like a gun on the claw. They shoot a bubble out that kills the prey. Look at, I think that's a sort of uh, type of pipe fish. It is a pipe fish. So cool, look at them. They act just like seahorses, but they're more of a fish than a seahorse. Oh, okay, next up, should we get this ribbon here, dude? He's so cool. He's so cool. We have to get him. We're getting him. All right, I did not know that was one eel there. But he's actually, that's one blue ribbon eel, and he's actually in the process of changing from black to blue. And you can see his tail is still black, his head is now turning a bluish. You gotta be pushing like three feet. But he's like this skinny, so it doesn't even really can't. I thought it was two eels at first. Holy cow. Wow, that's like a giant noodle, big noodle, giant noodle. That may be his name, noodle. That is a big boy and so pretty. It's cool that he's like in the middle of transitioning from black to blue right now. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow! No wonder I thought it was two you. <laughs> big boy, huh? That is a big boy. He needs, he needs some big names, so comment down below a name for our new ribbon eel right now. We'll be going along with a flame angel as well. This guy has a lot of bright colors, so I think it would be a cool addition to the 200 gallon. Since, you know, the fish that we did get, they're not so bright. They do have some colors, but this guy really just pops, so we'll see him all the time. We just got a whole bunch of saltwater fish. This was literally like a saltwater fish shopping spree. And we did that because as you guys know, we just set up the 200 gallon. We need to now get some fish rate. And that's what we did today. We got a whole bunch of fish in here. And we even got some extra ones that we're gonna surprise you guys with once we get home. So see you guys at the tank. We are back home, got our fish acclimating right here. We're probably gonna give them about like 30 minutes to 40 minutes just because we're doing it bag just because there's so many fish. So once they're done acclimating, we'll take everything out, show you them in detail, and then they're going in the tank. We got all our fish bagged up right here. They just got done acclimating. It is now time to get it in the tank, but we did pick up a few extra fish that we did not film. So I'm gonna show you guys those and along with all the fish that we did get. But right here to start off with is a big old blue ribbon eel. Really, really pretty. And we're gonna be putting him in first. Save the, yeah, definitely going in first. Well, right into the net he goes. Dude, look at the colors on this guy. I don't want him to bite me through this net, but so blue and yellow. There he goes. Look at him, dude. Oh my gosh. Right into the holes. That's such a freaky fish. Dude, he's got so many hiding spots in this tank. That's one reason I love this tank is just because of how much structure we put in here. It gives everything their own little like hiding spot so they do not fight. And that eel just disappeared into the rocks. I'm sure he's gonna come out once he gets comfortable and adjusted, but right now, he said goodbye. Next up, we're gonna do our two cleaner ass. So we got a Red Sea cleaner ass who's a little darker right now, but his color will come out once he gets in the tank. He's just a little stressed from the ride home. And then we got a regular cleaner ass right here. Now they're pretty similar. They do the exact thing, just one's a different color. And yeah, that's pretty much the difference. This is so fun. It's always so fun getting new fish and adding them to the tanks. Look at that. And as you guys know, we have a couple of these guys in the saltwater pond, but we're now switching it up a little and putting them in the aquarium. Ooh, there he goes. He's like, hey buddies, I'm gonna be uh, your private cleaner. Oh, look at the blue ribbon here, he's out. He's out. <laughs> Dude, why is he so angry? Next up, this guy's really cool. I've never seen one of these in person. I've seen them online, but never in person. Now they're just like, they have a lot of blue to them, but it's more like a navy blue. There he goes. Oh, that's so cool. They're probably gonna school up those two cleaner ass. There they are, look at them in the rocks. That's so cool. They're both already just hanging out together. Now we do need some names for all these fish. I mean, it's a lot of fish to name, so maybe we can just add like one big group name to this tank specifically. 
and uh, yeah, that's up for you guys to decide. So drop some name ideas down below in the comments. I'm sure we can get a big group name for this whole tank. Next up is a powder blue tank. Really, really pretty. This guy will get quite some size on him. We ended up going with uh, three tanks. So we got three tanks total. And like I said, they'll grow some nice size on them. And eventually, when they do get too big for this 200 gallon, which is going to be quite some time, we can always move them to a bigger tank or even the pond. Oh, dude, this, guy, this is going to be one of my favorites. Tanks just have so much personality. It's unbelievable. There he goes. Look at his colors. And we also did for the tank, since these guys mostly feed on algae, we did add a little algae clip. And I do have dried algae that we'll be adding in there just because this tank doesn't have too much algae going on. So we'll be supplying it for them. This guy's really cool. Flame Angel right here. Now look at the colors on him. We specifically got him just so he's like stands out the most in the tank. Because a lot of the fish, they're all, I mean, they're all bright colored, but this guy, it's like almost impossible to miss. Oh my God. What? Oh, Ribbony is coming out completely. Dude, he's long. Oh my, he's four feet. He's huge. He's huge. I know he's not, he's definitely just checking it out right now. Like, where am I? Because there's plenty of spaces to hide, so. And he will get along. You're probably wondering, will he get along with the banana eel? Yes, he will get perfectly along with the banana eel. They're actually reef safe eels, so we shouldn't have a problem with those two. And, his, and the banana eel lived with a couple of other eels before he went into this tank. Look at that, flame angel. Got the purple on his fins stripes and then you got the bright bright like flame colored body so cool dude he's probably gonna go right into some rocks look at our cleaner rice he's already cleaning the banana rice <laughs> they're buddies right here we got the powdered brown tank so not a powdered blue but a powdered brown they're pretty similar but this guy honestly if i had to say i think i like his colors a lot better Powdered brown tank going in. This guy has some really nice colors on him. You can see right there. Now tanks are, oh wow, he's cool in the tank. You really see his color now with the light. And there's a powder blue, so cool. I was gonna get one tank at first, but then I figured, I was like, no, nah, you know what? He's gotta have some buddies in there. So we ended up getting two more. I think that's like a perfect amount for this aquarium. It is very, very big and um, they got plenty of room to swim around. So should be set. We got two more fish left, two firefish and a blue tang. Look at that. We got Dory. Gort, you remind me of Dory. <laughs> Look at that blue. It's almost as blue as the net. Maybe even bluer. That would be cool if all the tangs just school up like they're doing right now. And I think they will. Look at that. Her name's Dory, for sure. How can you not name her Dory? Lastly, we got our two firefish. We had to pick up some more of these guys just because they're, they're, they're awesome fish. They have a lot of personality and you see their little heads poke out of the rocks. They do a good job cleaning up the tank as well. They pretty much just like eat all the scraps that the bigger fish don't eat. So we're gonna get these guys in. Oh, firefish are in. Look at the little fin on top. That's why I really like them. So cool. They're gonna go through all these little holes and just stick their little head out. Look at the ribbon eel, dude. He has no fear. He's just chilling. Bro. I like that better though. What? How he's that just he out? just hangs yeah, out. Yeah, I like it too. Everything is in the 200 gallon aquarium. Wiping all this water off real quick, but look at how much more light is in this tank. I mean, a couple things are hiding right now, but we got our two tanks right here. What are they doing? Everything's doing awesome. We even got sunshine back here. Where is she? She was out earlier. There she is, way back in there. Oh, we got an arrow crab attacking the GoPro. What the? <laughs> so yeah, tank looks amazing. This was definitely much needed just because we only had like five fish in here and it kind of looked empty because of how big of an aquarium it is. And this is like the show tank in the house when everyone walks in, this is kind of the first thing they like catch eyes on. So this was really, really a good addition to add. And look, there's Sunshine, she's out now. See her head? She's doing awesome for anyone wondering. Sunshine is doing great. 200 gallon is fully stocked up. If we do want to add invertebrates and you guys want to see that video happen, comment down below and let us know because we can always go out, catch some arrow crabs, catch some more coral banded shrimp, even some snails and hermit crabs. And like I said, we can catch all those. So if you guys want to see that video, comment down below, let us know and we'll make it happen for y'all. But if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below some names or a big old name for this whole tank. See y'all in the next back, one. Back, See y'all.